in the chapter principles of inheritance and variation after understanding various aspects associated with mendelian laws or you can call them theories okay as well as the post mendelian research we understood what exactly or how exactly characters get transmitted from parents to their offsprings right and after that even we studied was exactly the thing that is responsible for determining the sex of the progeny what exactly it is that get transmitted from parents to offspring which is responsible for the sex determination in the progeny that also we discussed like xxxy xxxo zzzw and even we discussed haploid diploid type of sex determination in the honeybees apart from that in this chapter we discuss about another concept called mutation which was the term was given by hugo de vries which is the sudden spontaneous change in the genetic material of the individual which brings change in the phenotype after studying that we understood that mutation is also a, another very important factor apart from crossing over which was uh, told by T H Morgan right along with crossing over and recombination mutation is also another factor which is responsible for variation in the progeny or the offsprings now finally we are at the end of the chapter where we are going to study a very important concept called genetic disorders its clear cut idea is very important for boards examination as well as for your neat and cet examination okay now before beginning with genetic disorders here we need to understand few things associated with a concept called sex linked inheritance in your ncert about this it is not mentioned directly but to study some of the concepts some of the disorders or the genetic disorders we must have the knowledge of this one let us try to understand what exactly it is then i will go to the disorders fine now try to understand what exactly sex linked inheritance is before going to that okay we know that we have two types of chromosomes each and every cell of the body is having two types of chromosomes they are one is autosomes and another one is allosomes allosomes are also called what sex chromosomes allosomes are referred as the sex chromosomes now we know the function of or the genes present on the autosomes so what they will do that we know already they are responsible for somatic characters of an individual right likewise allosomes or the sex chromosomes which are they they are two type one is x chromosome another one is the y chromosome ee eradu chromosome galive the genes which are present on it which play important role in sex determination in the progeny that we have learnt in the last lecture or the previous study right now here one thing we have to understand apart from sex determining genes there are other genes are present you will find many genes on x chromosome as well as on the y chromosome so whichever the gene it may be the gene might be either associated with determining the sex of the progeny fine adu kuda agirbodu athava yavudu ondu bere gene alva that is responsible for other characters of the individual anyhow genes present on the allosomes or genes present on the sex chromosome idara melgade iruva genes ige now idaralli iruva genes ige what i can call i can call it as sex linked genes so what are sex linked genes any gene that is present on the sex chromosome are called sex linked genes write down the heading okay next write down genes present on the sex chromosome in bracket x and y close the bracket are called sex linked genes the genes are linked with which chromosome present on which chromosome x and y chromosome are called sex linked genes underline 
comma their inheritance phenomena their inheritance phenomena is called sex linked inheritance how exactly x chromosome y chromosomes they have the genes how it is transmitted to next generation tamma next generation ige hodre hege hogta ide ondu vele adu next generation ige hodre how exactly it is expressed how it is inherited how it is expressed right the inheritance phenomena of these genes we call it what sex linked inheritance next line it is of two types it is of two types what are the number 1 x linked inheritance number 1 x linked inheritance and number 2 y linked inheritance let me first finish off x linked inheritance you can directly write this one very simple now tell me you know the meaning and the definition of this one what do you mean by x linked inheritance genes present on the x chromosome are called x linked genes right x chromosome melgade bekadashtu gene galive different genes are there genes present on the x chromosome are called x linked genes i will write here are called you can also write down this x linked genes comma and their inheritance phenomena is called x linked inheritance i hope you can even write the definition of y linked inheritance right now this is clear now try to understand genes present on the x chromosome are called x linked gene whenever we speak about gene which mendel called it factor now what this gene will do this gene is responsible for a specific what phenotype alva a gene eno ide that is responsible one gene will code for say for example one gene is coding for a phenotype phenotype andre enadu character alva one morphological feature character athava one vela think that this gene which is present on the x chromosome is having some has undergone mutation adralli enagide mutation agide badalavane agide nitrogenous base galalli it might be point mutation it might be what is that frame shift mutation whatever it may be think that this gene say for example by chance if that gene undergo mutation the person may get a what disorder so anything can be possible now in mine and your case we have x chromosome x chromosome has many what gene that gene in mine and your case responsible for a character responsible for a phenotype but in few in very rare cases in some cases by chance if that gene ondu vele ellaralli alla by chance ee gene nalli mutation aadre aa person alli normal instead of having a normal character or a phenotype the person can have what disorder is a clear x linked disorder anta kuda karibodu nanu x linked phenotype x linked character i right you can call by any means is a clear so those genes are called x linked genes and their inheritance phenomena is called as what x linked inheritance now suppose think that the the gene undergone mutation because of which uh, what is caused disorder is caused yavudu ondu samasya cause agide now i will take to convince you this let me take the example of hemophilia okay you may ask me sir yav reetiya gene galive very simple i will give you two examples for genes present on the x chromosome one is a gene responsible for the production of clotting factor you know the use of clotting factor right blood clotting factor whenever there is a cut whenever there is loss of blood to prevent that we show which phenomena blood clotting blood clotting agbeku anta adre what is required clotting proteins are required now the question is we know that proteins are produced from where 
gene gene will code for a protein clotting factors are the protein clotting factor is a somatic character or a sex character actually help me kontha helidre whether the clotting factor will decide one's sex no it is actually a somatic character right adru kuda a clotting factor produce maduva gene enu ide that is not present on the autosome clotting factor producing gene is present on the allosome which allosome X ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಒಂದು ವೇಳೆ ಆ ಕ್ಲಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡುವ ಜೀನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಆದರೆ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಫರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮೋಫೀಲಿಯಾ ನ ದ ಕಲರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈಟ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಲರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷನ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಕಲರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ರಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೋನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕೋನ್ಸ್ ಕಲರ್ಡ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಬೈ ಕೋನ್ಸ್ is a somatic character or a sex character or a sexual character no it is a somatic character alva bere character iddage adu kuda ondu character adre gnyapka ittkondiri some cone producing gene for the responsible for the colored vision the genes once again present not on autosome present on the allosome which allosome x chromosome ee rithi eradu example such many examples are there you might have heard about dystrophin gene a dystrophin gene enu ide which is the longest gene in the human genome that is the longest gene present on which one x chromosome dystrophin gene alli samasya adre right uh, what is that muscular dystrophy annuva vandu problem start aagta ide that you have studied in the locomotion and movement chapter do you remember that now please try to understand the basic things if any important gene which is responsible for any of my somatic character like blood clotting factor producing gene which one cone producing gene muscle contraction required dystrophin gene such important genes are found on the allosome which allosome x or y it is mainly found on the x chromosome than y chromosome ee rithiya important gene galu enu ide they are mainly found on the x than y why not on y chromosome why they are present only on the x chromosome right that is the question think of ondu vele clotting factor produce maduva gene x chromosome badalu nimma y chromosome mele iddidre enagabodittu body alli cut aada takshana alva only in the males there is what y chromosome is present only on the males right males alli blood clotting female alli clotting process e illa alva ondu vele color cone produce maduva gene y chromosome mele ide x alli illa what may happen black and white tv for the girls color tv for the boys alva arithi aagta ittu do it is happening hope you got the concept why such genes are present mainly on the x chromosome the simple answer is x chromosome is common to male as well as female x ibbaralli kuda irodrinda male mattu female alli right such important genes are mainly found on the x then y chromosome such vital genes important genes hagadre y chromosome alli genes e illwa ide adre they are not that vital okay they are performing some function try to understand that now think that the x gene is responsible for a character or a phenotype or by chance the mutation has happened in that gene okay because of which a person got a disorder called hemophilia what happens in hemophilia if there is cut in the individual there is no blood clotting blood in agode illa clot agode illa idr bage nan nimage genetic disorder alli innom explain martene now if the individual is getting hemophilia means the gene present on the x chromosome has undergone mutation you know ondu enagide samasya agide antadra artha clear now because of which the person is suffering from which disorder hemophilia say for example the male in the one family grandfather is suffering from the problem of x linked gene called hemophilia hemophilia samasya ee grandfather alli ide 
from grandfather the hemophilia problem can be seen in whom grandson from grandfather to grandson how it is transferred through his daughter through his daughter c the mutated gene was present on the grandfather he is having that gene he was suffering from the problem called hemophilia avanige a samasya ittu body alli cut aadre en aagta irilla clot e aagta irilla bleed aagta ittu he was suffering from the disorder okay now avana family na neevu noduvaga a gene from the grandfather it is inherited to his daughter ivanige ondu vele maga huttidre right if he gives birth to a son son will be normal how that i will tell you once again while discussing hemophilia now try to understand from grandfather who was suffering from the problem because of the gene which is mutated he is having it now that mutated gene on the x chromosome is inherited to whom his daughter that daughter is having the mutated gene she is having the problematic or the mutated gene but guys she was normal avalige yava samasya kuda illa avalalli mutated gene idru kuda she is absolutely fine right but the thing is she is carrying that mutated gene that's why i call her carrier carrier daughter is the one carrier female is the one she is carrying the mutated gene but she is not showing the symptom she is not having the problem a samasya avalige illve illa now that mutated gene from her it got transferred to whom grandson nige hoitu ivala maganige alva ivala maganige hogide and that son is again suffering from what hemophilia it was a scene in grandfather from grandfather the problem in his family seen in the grandson from him it can be seen in his grandson not in between is that clear that means x linked character x linked phenotype x linked disorders are transferred from grandfather to grandson through carrier daughter such a pattern of inheritance is called criss cross pattern or zig zag pattern of inheritance criss cross pattern athava enanda karitave zig zag pattern of inheritance is a clear whenever adu yava gene bekidru agirli ondu vele x chromosome alli ide andre we will find this part ಒಂದು ಜನರೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುನಃ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮನ್ನು ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಅವರ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಹೆರಿಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ಫಿಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಯಾಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಗಳು ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಹೆಮಿಸೈಗಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಹೆಮಿಸೈಗಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಹಾಗಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ರಮೋಸೋಮ್ x chromosome presence of only one x chromosome see the male he is having xy chromosome female is having xx chromosome the male is having xy chromosome yake x linked samasyagalu male alli matra naavu jaasti nodta iddeve compared to female yake sigodilla anta kelidre males have only one x chromosome the condition is called what not homozygous it is called hemizygous what is hemizygous condition presence of only one x chromosome okay how exactly sir one day x idre yake mele alli hige aagta ide again 
I will definitely tell you the answer for that. But when while discussing about hemophilia in which one genetic disorders, whether this much is clear throughout. Remember when you study for boards exam as well as for the neat exam, whenever it is a X linked problem, X linked problem and the hell is uh, it is a disorder alva x linked disorder agirbodu athava x linked one normal character agirbodu it is seen that the disorder or the character is seen more in the males when compared to females and the pattern of inheritance is grandfather to grandson through carrier daughter it is called crisscross pattern or zigzag pattern one example for x linked inheritance is which one hemophilia one more example is color blindness okay which i will discuss later now let me go to the next one number two number two is why linked inheritance why linked inheritance you know the meaning and definition of x linked inheritance what do you mean by y linked inheritance genes present on the y chromosome are called what y linked genes genes present on the y chromosome are called y linked genes and their inheritance is called inheritance phenomena is called what y linked inheritance any gene that is associated with y chromosome athava present on which chromosome y chromosome mele enu ide the y linked gene anta karita idene bere bere reetiya gene galu ive right which is responsible for what a phenotype or i can say a character or adaralli samasya adre naavu enannu nodabodu ondu normal phenotype badalu abnormal phenotype athava disorder anna nodabodu always remember whenever it is a y linked character or a y linked disorder a character or a disorder is due to what gene whenever it is a y linked gene or i can say whenever it is a y linked phenotype y linked character y linked disorder anta helbodu nanu it is always transferred from whom to whom father to son son to his son that means it is transferred only in the males of the what is that the family only in the male member y chromosome is present only in the males yake female ge hogta illa females don't have y chromosome so y linked inheritance is transferred or the characters are transferred only in the males of the what that family is a clear father to son son to his son it is not going to female why because females don't have y chromosome they have both xx chromosome one example for a y linked phenotype athava y linked character on the normal character it is not a disorder one example is okay hyper trichosis okay what is that <clears throat> hypertrichosis it is the growth of hair on ear pinna have you seen the growth of hair in the ear pinna have you ever seen that in any female yavudadru female alli avala ear pinna mele hair grow aagta ide andre okay adar artha enu avalalli y chromosome ide anta artha andre bere condition artha aagta unta makale alva but remember the growth of hair on ear pinna is a is called hypertrichosis idakke sambandha patta gene enu ide it is present on y chromosome hagagi that is seen in whom males right many of the male if a male is having hypertrichosis that character will be seen in whom in his son our next generation ali son ali now common agedana node nortteve is a clear daivittu neevu nimma maneyalli yarigadru okay kiviya melgade kudalu galive anta kshana alva growth of hair on ear pinna hogi hedirisbedi dad or someone your uncle you are having hypertrichosis they may get heart attack tell them okay with love you have to tell a uh, hypertrichosis is so and so it is not a problem it is not a problem it is a 
ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಜೀನ್ಗಳು ಯಾವ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದೆ ವೈ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದೆ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನಾವು ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಜೀನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಜೀನ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜೀನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಸ್ determining factor gene as the name itself tells to you the gene is present responsible for the development of what testis in the male is that clear the tdf gene is the smallest gene in the human genome found on only which chromosome y chromosome which is responsible for the development of what testis in the males so let me quickly recall genes present on x and y chromosome are called sex linked genes and their inheritance is called sex linked inheritance the x linked inheritance is by criss cross pattern or zigzag pattern x linked character or a phenotype is always inherited from grandfather to grandson through carrier daughter okay whereas y linked inheritance are transmitted from father to son males of the what that family is a clear that is the y linked inheritance this basic knowledge is required to understand few concepts of genetic disorder now let me move on to the next one what is that genetic disorder sir archibald gerard sir archibald gerard he is known as father of sir archibald gerard is known as father of okay father of human genetics can you recall who is the father of genetics or father of classical genetics it is gregor john mendel who is the father of experimental genetics it is thomas hunt morgan who is the father of a uh, modern genetics it is william bateson right who is the father of human genetics sir archibald gerard he is the one for the first time studied inborn errors of metabolism he studied about which one inborn errors of metabolism huttidaginda iruva metabolic disorder gala bage first time avanu study martane okay under the branch what human genetics and the genetic disorders i am not discussing here about covid 19 which is caused by sars cov 2 corona virus alwa adra bage maatadta illa i am not speaking about malaria not speaking about common cold or cancer i am discussing about those disorders which are caused due to change in the genetic material that's why it is called genetic disorder genetic disorders associated with the humans are studied under the branch what human genetics who did the study for the first time sir archibald gerard who is also known as father of biochemical genetics also known as the father of biochemical genetics okay also known as human genetics also is that clear according to the study of sir archibald gerard the genetic disorders are classified into two types genetic disorders are classified into how many types two types but before going to that you may think what exactly you might be thinking about what is this human genetics very simple if i say drosophila genetics what you will understand you will understand that how characters of drosophila are transmitted from one generation to another generation alva same way what do you mean by human genetics the characters of the human which character genetic character how they are transmitted from one generation to the next generation adanna study madu branch ge nanta karitebe human genetics clear now the two types of genetic disorders are one is mendelian disorder one is mendelian disorder and another one is okay chromosomal disorder so 
टू टाइप्स ऑफ जेनेटिक डिजॉर्डर नंबर वन मेंडेलियन डिजॉर्डर वॉट डू यू मीन बाय दिस डू इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द मेंडल नो मेंडल एवर यूज द टर्म क्रोमोजोम नो ही वॉज नोइंग अबाउट क्रोमोजोम नो राइट बट ही यूज द टर्म फैक्टर लेटर वी कॉल इट एज वॉट genes so mendelian disorders are not the problems or the disorders of the mendel don't get confused mendelian disorders are nothing but gene disorders mendelian disorders are what gene disorder yake anta kelidre avanu factor anva term anna use madidane adanne naavu gene anta karita idave he never spoke about which one chromosome is a clear mendelian disorder or gene disorder as name itself tells to you is caused due to write down is caused due to mutation in single gene very important because of the mutation in single gene the person will get a particular a specific mendelian disorder or the जेनेटिक डिसडर वे वो जीन म्यूटेशन साकु याद प्रॉब्लम इन जेनेटिक डिसडर दट इज ड्यू टू वाट म्यूटेशन इन अनदर सिंगल जीन एव्री सिंगल जीन म्यूटेशन इज रेस्पासीबल फॉर् वाट जीन डिसडर और द मेडेलियन डिसडर सो वन थिंग इज क्लियर इट ईज काज ड्यू टू म्यूटेशन इन द जीन द क्वेश्चन इज वेर इज द जीन the gene is present on autosome or allosome genes are found in both 44 autosomes right as well as in the two allosomes genes elladralli kuda ide now the question is where the gene undergone mutation remember the gene mutation can occur either to the one which is present on what autosomes अटोजोम नल्वत्नाकु अटोजोम अदर मेलिव जीनस म्यूटेशन वि कॉल इट अटोजोमल मेडेलियन डिसडर और अटोजोमल जीन डिसडर और द म्यूटेशन कैन ईवन हैपन टू विच वन अलोजोम आलो सो try to understand the gene mutation can be either autosomal gene mutation if the mutated gene is present on any of the one autosome it can be allosomal gene disorder if the mutated gene is present on any of the one allosome either x chromosome or y chromosome so yava chromosome mele iruva gene kuda bekidre enagabodu mutation agi adarinda gene disorder athava mendelian disorder cause agabodu no the mutated gene may be present wherever autosome agirli allosome agirli okay wherever it may be present sometime in some disorders mutated gene act as a dominant gene okay in some of the mendelian disorder the mutated gene it may be either present on autosome or it may be on the allosome mutated gene itself act as a dominant gene but in some disorders we have observed that the mutated gene wherever it may present it act as what it act as a recessive gene so hagagi devittu artha maadkolikke try maadi the gene disorder can be either autosomal gene disorder or allosomal gene disorder or it can be a dominant gene disorder or it can be a recessive gene disorder so which are the examples for autosomal gene disorders many examples are there but the four very important examples are one is sickle cell anemia that is i am going to discuss here one more is thalassemia okay नंबर थ्री फिनाइल कीटोन्यूरिया फिनाइल कीटोन्यूरिया एंड नंबर फोर सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस 
apart from that you will find many other like albinism is there many more are there but the very important we need to study about these four okay now which are the example for allosomal mendelian or the gene disorder the two very important one are which i already told you one is which one hemophilia and number two one more is sorry red green color blindness red green color blindness not blindness blindness can be either due to problem in the cornea or due to lens problem or due to problem in the retina blindness kanne kaanadiruvantaddu alwa loss of visibility i am not speaking about blindness i am not speaking about night blindness night blindness is a nictalopia erulu gannu alwa that is due to the deficiency of vitamin a adara korate inda aguvantaddu but naan maatadtirodu yavudilli color blindness not blindness not night blindness i am speaking about color blindness okay so these are the very important example which i am going to discuss with you in my coming sessions so try to understand the next around 3 to 4 sessions i am going to discuss about the different genetic disorders the next 3 to 4 class when i begin with gene disorder always keep in mind throughout ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ನೀವು ವಿಚ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯೂಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಜೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅಟೋಸೋಮ್ ಓಕೆ ನಲವತ್ನಾಲ್ಕರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಅಟೋಸೋಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಗಳು ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಮ್ಯೂಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಜೀನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ರಿಸಸ್ಯೂ it is not becoming a dominant gene clear likewise the two examples which represent allosomal throughout when you discuss these two mutated gene is present on the sex chromosome which sex chromosome it is the x chromosome in both the cases mutated gene is present on the x chromosome one more thing both of them the mutated gene again act as a recessive gene so clear right one thing is very clear all the six examples which are there none of them are dominant gene disorder ee aaru cases ralli mutated gene en aagta illa dominant aagi behave maartta illa andre ellavu kuda recessive adralli first four they are present on the autosomal these two present on the allosome in that which allosome y chromosome no which one only on the x chromosome is that clear have a note of this which is very important now what do you mean by chromosomal disorder chromosomal disorders are caused due to either change in structure of chromosome change in structure or number of chromosome what are chromosomal disorders they are caused due to change in the structure say for example this is the actual chromosome due to some reason a short arm of the chromosome is lost okay or it got detect or that uh, separated now this is a change in the structure of the chromosome now one more example an individual was having 46 chromosome due to some reason i don't know which one that i will see later due to some reason he got 47 chromosome one extra instead of 46 it become 47 or instead of 46 it become 45 change in the number of chromosome or change in the structure of chromosome will lead to what chromosomal disorder and one best example for it is which one downs syndrome one best example down syndrome others include kleinefelter syndrome turner syndrome crydu chat syndrome many more are there but it is caused due to it is not directly associated with the gene try to understand okay it is caused due to either change in the number of chromosome 
or change in the structure of chromosome once again i will discuss about this in the detail in detail once i complete mendelian disorder so be mentally prepared in my next session onward i am going to discuss first the different mendelian or the gene disorder be thorough with the examples which example is for which category that you must know